In this video, you will learn how ANSYS SCADE supports the challenges of embedded avionics systems designs. Design of embedded avionics systems are becoming more and more difficult and error-prone. Engineers are dealing with much more complex systems in terms of hardware platforms, architectures with multiple CPUs, switches, buses, and so on. Thousands of data are exchanged between components. They are communicated through various protocols, such as ARINC 429, ARINC 664, and CAN. To tackle all these challenges, ANSYS has created a SCADE system avionics package. It provides design templates for the avionics systems, compliant with the standard protocols and operating systems. This solution provides guidance for clean separation of concerns method. It provides a comprehensive industrial example. The solution is based on models. Thanks to them, you can automate services such as the verification of platform resources capabilities and the generation of consistent interface control documents, or ICDs. It is, of course, fully customizable. Let's see more precisely how this solution works. I'm using a braking control system here. This one relies on a classical COM-MON architecture. The command and the monitoring functions in the middle are exchanging functional data with other functions. Propagation of data can be followed with the highlighted links. Now, looking at the software components, how is this functional architecture distributed on several CPUs? This is represented in tables. You can see, for example, that the MON function is allocated to the BCS MON software component. This one is also producing data, or said differently, they are the messages defined from a given protocol, in this case, AFDX. It is structured with fields and their attributes defined for the AFDX protocol. Some fields are a placeholder to carry the functional data defined at the functional level. For example, this field, dis, sys, conf, cas, is used to carry the system configuration functional data that I've shown you at the functional level. It implements the interface's allocation. This message is defined by a message template that you can find in the Type Definition tab. The list of all messages is represented in a single table, the Interface Control Documents, or ICDs. They represent the specification of the software components' as interfaces. All these messages' properties are defined, not in the tool, but in a model that you can customize yourself. This enables you, for example, to change it to your own protocol. The models of these messages' properties are called configurations. For instance, in the software diagram, the avionics configuration defines the way the model is structured with the functional software and hardware levels, along with the allocations. Another configuration can be defined for each protocol, for example, the AFDX protocol. In this case, we can see the messages and the structuration of their attributes. In a click from the model, you can generate configuration plugins that configure the SCADE system environment for domain-specific menus and object properties. Let's come back to the braking control system demo. At platform level, it's made of CPUs and AFDX switches. Software components are allocated to the CPUs. Data propagation and allocation mechanisms represent the path's messages followed in the physical architecture. These paths are exactly the AFDX virtual links that are required to configure the AFDX switches. The platform level has also been configured to get dedicated properties. For example, if you select this port and go to the AFDX tab, you can see that it gets a bandwidth attribute. Using models allows automated verification that the bandwidth needed to send the messages allocated to this port actually fits the bandwidth set to the port. And so you can check it with this button. If set wrong, error messages are produced for immediate location in the model. The generated report provides hyperlinks to the mistakes. As a summary, the SCADE system avionics package extends SCADE system design capabilities for avionics and defense. Together with the SCADE system configurator, it provides out-of-the-box templates for design of systems compliant with standard avionics protocols and operating systems. 
all configurations are provided as models or source files for reuse and customization to support company-specific methods. Guidance is provided with a comprehensive industrial example. It includes methods based on clear separation of concerns at a functional software platform level. The solution enables automated verifications and tables generation. This avionics package relies on the SCADE system product. It is used for the analysis of the system with operational requirements analysis with use cases, sequence, activity, or state machines diagrams, and allows architecture design and data propagation. The tool automatically verifies models with the checker and has a diff merge capability. You can generate the ICDs for the software components through tables. You have specific mechanisms to synchronize the system design with the software design. And all these features can be configured thanks to the configurator. If you want more information, go and check the ANSYS website at ansys.com. Thank you.